Welcome back to Glendale, everyone. You got to think that all the players for Boise State and Arizona are absolutely thrilled to be here. And us too. But us some too. players more so than others, a lot of connections between Boise State and Arizona, and none are deeper than that of the Tevis family. I've actually never heard of Boise State. Aaron Tevis received just three scholarship offers to play college football. I uh, took a trip to Wyoming. Hated it. <laughs> I took a trip here and just fell in love with the coaches in the city and the team and you know, the whole mentality. And uh, I knew it was set from that moment I took that trip. There is a terrific play. Interception Aaron Tevis for Boise State. He may take it all the way. The Tucson native went on to start 35 games at linebacker in Bronco Blue. The most memorable, the 2010 Fiesta Bowl. It was just awesome to be home, you know, playing in front of a home crowd. You know, our team was just extremely focused. Uh, we were underdogs. Nobody thought we had a chance, but we all knew that we were there to win. While Aaron celebrated a Fiesta Bowl title, his little brother Jared was going through the recruiting grinder, trying to earn a football scholarship and follow in his big brother's footsteps. Coach Huff, um, you know, he'd been to my high school a lot and he'd been recruiting Jared. And he loved him. He knew he was a great player. But that year, they only had, I think, five, six scholarships to offer. Um, that was that small uh, class. So it was kind of kind of sucked. But you know, he had a choice to walk on here at Arizona, and he chose to stay home. And it's worked out great for him. The younger Tevis quickly earned a scholarship at Arizona and has been a starter at safety the last three seasons. Aaron is not surprised. Pop Warner, I'd be out there doing drills and stuff. He'd be over there five years old on the sideline, you know, doing the exact same things, you know doing it just as fast, if not faster, than everybody else on the team. They're both athletic players, so, you know, that comes from mom, I guess, mom and dad, so, you know, those genes are pretty good. Intercepted by Tevis. I'm just so proud of him, you know, on and off the field. He's just a great person, great player. A great player, sure, but is he better than Aaron? Leaping in front of the intended receiver is Aaron Tevis. I don't know. If we'd have to uh, do a matchup, I'd go off of what we used to do. Uh, back in the backyard in the day, you know, wrestling, I'd usually whoop him, but, you know, he's probably got like 40 pounds since then, so we'll see. We'll test it out uh, after the game. Before resorting to backyard wrestling, Aaron will be in the stands at University of Phoenix Stadium, pulling for his little brother. The only way I would be fine with him losing if he got like, you know, two or three touchdowns, pick sixes. I bleed blue, man. I'm a, a Boise State fan for life. Um, I hope both the teams play great. I hope it comes down to the wire, but... You know, you got to go family first, and, you know, I'm hoping Jerry can uh, pull out a win and, you know, get that matching festival ring. I had a chance to speak with the younger Tevis brother here in Arizona. He confirmed that older brother Aaron will definitely be rooting for the Wildcats, and he'll wear Jared's jersey at the game, just like Jared did for him back in 2010. You know, my dad was a huge Boise fan when Aaron was there. It makes it a little easier since he's not playing anymore. You know, there might be more of a battle if uh, you were both playing at the same time against each other. But uh, so, yeah, now now we're, we're all Arizona. But, you know, after the game, though, they'll, they'll go back to being uh, Boise fans as well, you know, as long as they're not playing us. Jared Tevis has been a huge contributor for the Wildcats defense this season, as evidenced by the length of the scouting report provided by Boise State offensive coordinator Mike Sanford. Savvy, tough, uh, likes to play around the box, um, comes down there and, and uh, you know, is, is, is kind of their boundary safety and he does a great job forcing, you know, in, in the run game as a force player. I remember him in the recruiting process a couple years ago and, you know, he's, he's turned into being a fine, fine football player and he's uh, obviously he's, he's, he knows our program really well and probably has a lot of respect for our program just like we have a ton of respect for what his brother did here and, and uh, what he's done so far in that program.